hi everyone welcome to moments of grace now in this video today oh lord i am in the pet park guys and i don't i don't know <laughs> i'm in the pet park my pets are not with me though i just love this filming in this area because it's very peaceful normally and it's very quiet and i'm wanna enjoy the outside as long as i possibly can so let's get started okay so I'm going to be talking about accomplishment today. Accomplishment. That's what I'm calling it. Okay. So let's go over to Isaiah 26, 12 in the NLT. And it reads like this in the NLT. Lord, you will grant us peace. All we have accomplished is really from you. Remember, guys, I want you to understand before we go over to this devotional, everything that we have from a blessing of Listen, we can start with our own bodies. We can think, we can talk, we can walk. Our I mean, like we, we, you know, I, there's just so many things just in our physical bodies. We can get so grateful and thankful for. It's amazing. But I'm here to talk to you about just the abilities. We're going to talk about abilities there just for a split second because we're going to talk about our accomplishments. So do you really think that you accomplish things uh, on your own? I have met people that that really believe that well, I work hard and I did this and I did that. It's always I, I, I. You ever notice that? Very selfish. Never once giving a thank you to God for giving me the ability and the opportunity not only to do the skill that we're doing or the gift that we're doing and also the job that's paying us a great deal of money to do that gift, but we don't give any thank you to God. We do have to thank God for the accomplishments we have, the opportunities we have, and the doors that he opens for us on a daily basis that we just totally overlook God. And we shouldn't do that. So I'm speaking to somebody right now. So let's go over to what he says here. As we each look back on our lives, we remember we have all climbed mountains, but here we are still standing to tell the tale. You know, if you're alive today, God's not done with you yet. And there's amazing things that if you get in the word of God and you tune into him, I cannot tell you the blessings and the doors that he will open for you. Stop thinking in the natural and let's start thinking in the supernatural. Because God does not operate in the natural. He operates in the supernatural. So, as we reflect with peace in our hearts on the things of the past, we must remember that, that we could have done none of it without God. He is the one who carries our burdens, who comforts our hearts, who strengthens our resolve, and who orders our steps. He is the God who orders our steps, guys. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and pray for you. Thank you, Lord that you have been there for me every step of the way. I would have nothing if it weren't for you. Thank you for the peace that you give me and for the works that you've done in me. I look forward to what you have yet to accomplish in my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I can just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that I might not see a way, but you have a way. That I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, whether I believe that or not. And we really have to meditate on these type of things so that our, our belief uh, can grow. You know, a lot of the things that Jesus could not do, it was because the people in the area or the town wouldn't believe. They wouldn't believe him where he grew up, the very people where he grew up with. They couldn't believe that he was the Messiah they had been waiting for. There's so much to tell about this. So we'll come back to this at another time. I hope you guys have an, an amazing, blessed day. Meditate on this today. Share this with people who need to hear the, um, the word of God on a daily basis to encourage them that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. He blesses us because he loves us. So in the next moments of grace, have an amazing day. I declare your day blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Amen.